Lothian final of the Prince's Scottish Youth Business Trust Awards for 2010. West Lothian Business Gateway are sponsoring the event this evening and are also the main contributors to the prize fund. The aim of the annual business awards is to showcase the young business talent that flourishes in West Lothian. This is the 16th year of the awards in this format and West Lothian Council have been a part of the awards every year from their inception. Councillor Martin Day of West Lothian Council, Sue Cook, the West Lothian Chair of PSYBT, and Simon Aston from the West Lothian PSYBT Volunteer Team were the three judges who met with the finalists on the 2nd of August to deliberate their entries and decide upon the winner tonight. Many of the award finalists and winners from previous years are continuing to make progress and grow their business ventures, contributing to the West Lothian economy. Let's catch up with some of them before we're introduced to the five finalists for 2010. Paul Bradford of Truly Scrumptious Designer Cakes reached the final in 2003 and took the runner-up prize in that year. Since then, the business has established outlets in Jenner's at both the Edinburgh and Loch Lomond stores. There's a production unit in Lenithgow and the business has recently opened the Cupcake Cafe Bar on the outskirts of Torficken, just five miles out of Linlithgow. The cake decorating classes that have now become a central part of the business are held at the Torficken premises. There are 14 different courses to choose from, ranging from a one-day introductory course to a five-day intensive course. Guest tutors are also delivering courses, including Debbie Brown and Maisie Parrish. Ewan Higgins of Ewan's School of Motoring was the West Lothian winner in 2004. He has continued to expand and diversify his business interests. Ewan most recently opened premises in Whitburn, offering tyre fitting and MOT testing. His mobile tyre fitting service continues to do well. Ewan is now an established member of the West Lothian PSYBT volunteer team and was a member of the judging team for the PSYBT Business Awards last year. Lee McGrawty, personal trainer, was a finalist in 2005. His two training gyms in Bathgate are now well established and Damien Duffin, one of the finalists this year, works with Lee on a freelance basis, working from the original Bathgate gym at the Bathgate Community Centre. Lee is currently in negotiation with a new freelance practitioner to offer complimentary services from the town centre gym. Leo Defer from Ninithgo and a finalist in 2008 has built a successful business around his love of painting, taking his inspiration from the natural world. Leo always has a full calendar of exhibitions, with his work on display in a number of Scottish and London galleries. Leo recently returned from six weeks in Canada as a Royal Overseas League Commonwealth Travel Scholar. He returns to Scotland thoroughly inspired and with sketchbooks filled. His travel sketches and journals will be displayed at the OXO Gallery in London in October this year and there will be exhibitions of the paintings resulting from his Canadian trip in the Royal Overseas League in both London and Edinburgh during 2011. Mark Beaumont of Unique Care Solutions was the 2008 regional winner in West Lothian and went on to represent the county in the national awards. His business so impressed the national judges that they selected him as the runner-up in the national awards from the 17 other regional finalists from across Scotland. 
Since then, the business has continued to grow and now operates from purpose-built premises on the outskirts of Linlithgow. The business continues to impress business awards judges and last year, Mark was a finalist in the Institute of Directors annual awards. Kelly McFarlane was the regional winner in West Lothian last year with her garden gift shop, Paper Dreams, which is in Broxburn. She started making handmade cards for friends and family to gain experience before she started to sell them to the general public on eBay as a trial for her full-time venture. She launched her business on a full-time basis in June of 2007 and since that time it has grown steadily with Kelly introducing new ideas to grow the business on a regular basis. The Broxburn shop underwent a complete refit last year and Kelly is on the constant lookout for larger shop premises. She thought she'd located suitable premises earlier this year, but they fell through at the 11th hour. She continues her quest to find new premises, if at all possible, in Broxburn. She is, however, prepared to relocate should the right premises become available. Her latest innovation for the business is to tailor make magazine cards. These are one-off cards individually made to order as celebration or thank you cards. They're proving to be very popular. Kelly has also revamped her website and this is becoming more important in promoting the business to a wider audience. Scott K was joint runner-up last year trading as Scott K Joinery. Since then, Scott has set up a property development company, Scott K Developments Limited. He bought and renovated his first property, which was sold at a profit earlier in the year. He's now on the lookout for his next development property to renovate. Scott K Joinery now employs eight full-time and one part-time staff. Electrical and plumbing works are undertaken by subcontract workers. The year since the last awards has been busy for Scott and his order book is healthy into 2011. Scott launched his first website recently to promote his business. Find out more about the full range of services offered by visiting the site at www.scottkjoinery.co.uk Gavin Cochran was the second runner-up in 2009. His first business venture was in Hart Hill, where he set up a small hairdressing salon in a housing development. He very quickly outgrew these premises and relocated to Whitburn in August of 2007. Since his arrival in West Lothian, he has quickly established the reputation of his Whitburn salon, offering city centre standard services to the population of the town and the surrounding area. Both the hairdressing and beauty side of the business are now firmly established and the salon is working to full capacity in both hair and beauty treatments. A recent development has been the introduction of own brand products that are used in the hairdressing salon and also offered for sale. <laughs>